Good morning, good morning, everybody. Hope everybody woke up good. Hope everybody had a good night's sleep. Tuesday, it's raining out here. I'm at the quick trip. It's gonna be a rainy day. I think it's gonna stop around 11, but today, um, so far it's gonna be, it look like it's gonna be a chill day. Saturday, I went to this uh, apartment complex. We got a call from a construction company out of state. I think they're managing about 22 units at this apartment complex. And um, they said two of the units was having issues so far. So uh, I went out there Saturday because uh, they said they needed to get it done by today. And um, today or tomorrow, they need to turn in those units. And uh, I found a bad control board on an air handler. And on the second unit, I didn't really find much. They uh, said that the heating and the cooling wasn't working. I don't know why exactly they said that. I checked the heat strips. I checked the heating cycle. Um, it was a heat pump. I checked the refrigerant pressures on heat mode. It matched up to what the data plate was saying. But, uh, so, and then I did check the cooling cycle, but that ambient temperature outside was about 55 degrees. So, I, you know, you can't really get a good reading that way. I did have a high sub cool. I had about a 15, 16 sub cool, which I thought was pretty weird with that ambient temperature being not too hot out. Um, I had a low suction pressure and a low superheat, but then again, it was about 67 degrees inside the apartment. So I know I didn't have a big load in the apartment. So, um, but yeah, anyways, long story short, after I checked all that, uh, you know, I recommended to clean the coil a little bit. The coil was stopped up and uh, to clean the fan, the fan uh, blower wheel on that one, because it was pretty dirty. I, that's just what I recommended. Uh, and they went and ahead and approved it. Uh, I did tell them that the heating was working the, as far as the heat strip. But so that's what we're gonna do today, guys. I'm just giving y'all a little bit of history of what I did Saturday. I wasn't able to take my camera. I forgot my camera. Um, and I didn't want to go back. I was about five or 10 minutes on the road and I was like, oh, I don't got my camera and I didn't want to go back and turn back around because it was Saturday. So that's what I did Saturday. $78. Gas price is good right now. So, but that's what we're doing, man. That's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna get some footage of that. I was making sure it was open. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this up. Put my shoe covers on. Okay guys, so check out the the board. It's fried up. It's crazy. That relay burnt out. But I noticed they have another blower motor here, so I'm wondering if I change that board out. Maybe the blower wheel ain't going to work, but we'll see right now. I'm going to go ahead and change it out. Got it right here. So, we'll go ahead and swap it out now, baby. Transformer wire. Red wire. some new wire I made these 
out of some cut that that blower motor wire so I could have some extra wire from the sequencer because the previous wires got burnt off so now I'm just gonna connect them this is this is the power wire from the transformer This is the perfect. Yeah. Here we'll go ahead and put this red wire. And this is my common wire. Try to get that in better. Okay. The green wire. And now they had this this speed on the relay right here it should reach if I cut this off it'll reach even if I gotta go around this way with it so I just cut it off yeah I hope this um this is the only thing that was damaged. I hope nothing else got fried, but we'll see right now. So I'll just put it in through here. It goes on this tap right here. So let me um, strip this back and put a new spade on it now. Good. Okay, about to go turn on that breaker. <sighs> All right, let's turn this on. I got the fan on already. We'll see what what it does. There's our fan. So I'm gonna go back to the thermostat and uh. Put it on emergency heat. 1.40 amps. So, our outdoor unit is running in heat mode. I went ahead and put it in heat mode because I know I'm not going to get good pressures with this cold weather out here. And I found which one it is. It's this one. Let's see. It's going in the defrost. Yeah, I think it just went in the defrost. Kind of soon for it to be going in the defrost, but I had to uh, cut these off. They're labeled right here, 4203. Followed it. It is this unit, the only one with the cage. There's something going on, I think. I think I heard it try to Let 
me go get my drill. I didn't expect it to be. Let me check if this is an R22 system. Yeah, this is an R22. So, these are older units. Uh, R22. I think right now it's, oh, I'm tripping. I'm tripping, guys. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Okay, I was, I was tripping on that. Let's go ahead and put this on the true section. I forgot I was checking it and, uh, In heat mode so let's go ahead check this line temp so it is looking at that line temperature it's, it's rising the way it's supposed to trying to wait to see what it does. Sound like it, the reverse valve is clicking in and out. So, look at this. That's part of the reason why it's doing it. I mean, that is the reason why it's doing it. cool mode because the pressures are the same look at that folks apartment nightmares so I found my issue that was the issue causing this to switch back and forth so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off and just restrip it go ahead and turn the power off um i don't want to blow no fuse and i think it's all toasted out wires old <clears throat> there's a lot of issues in here at these units, look at this one. The fan is just running. No compressor. It's running slow. <clears throat> so, a bunch of issues out here. So on things like this, uh, you find minor issues like this. I don't charge really for them. Um, we're just gonna charge for that, for that uh, air handler board that we changed out. Plus, um this is our first job with these people and they they paid us the diagnostic fee up front and uh and uh, they said they got 22 units in total for this month and they're gonna have 22 more so if we get in good with them you know they should give us some work and um you know sometimes you just gotta you gotta make people happy because they'll give you work, which makes you happy, so. All right, we'll get some zip ties and just 
kind of zip tie this out the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect my Bluetooth. That way, um, I could just go ahead and turn that power that breaker on and look at our pressures from up there real quick and get going. So I just turned it on. It's on heat mode now. So we're gonna let it run for a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm gonna clean this coil a little bit, put a filter on and finish up. I don't know about you guys, but I hate when my tools get wet. I don't know. I just hate it. All right, so now we about to go to the second apartment that I'm supposed to clean out that blower wheel. Guess what I did? I just went ahead and got a new blower wheel. I said, it's raining out. I'm not about to try to find no holes and start cleaning it right now. So we just gonna change out that blower wheel, guys. This one's gonna be a quick repair, a quick little swap out of this blower wheel, guys, because I already checked the pressures when I came out here Saturday. And um, I cleaned the coil out a little bit and everything looked good in heating mode. It did look a little bit low in cool mode, but that's because it was cold out, so. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swap this blower wheel out so I won't clean it. Yeah, I cleaned that coil as best as I could. So I'm gonna swap that out. Let y'all take a look at that. So finally got this out the way. Just gonna leave this hanging right there for a little bit and try to get these wires out the way. So these apartment style air handlers, they got these screws kind of hidden right here. Take these out. I brought this down here with me so I won't get the new carpet dirty. This is the new one, beautiful new blower wheel. And I mean, I expect everything here to be not maintained properly and dirty and, you know, on this last leg, but I don't know who said that this system was not cooling and heating. She said it was not cooling and heating. So I inspected everything. So I just recommended to clean this blower wheel and um, they agreed. So that's why we're doing this. So we got the new fan blade on there. Clean the motor up a little bit. The capacitor is good on it, so we are good. Let's get this bad boy back in. So it was a little rough getting that one in there. I didn't want to record and let y'all see me struggling, but it was a little rough getting that one in there. So now let's just reconnect everything. Okay, so we got the fan running with that new blower wheel. We are good to go, fellas. Got the new filter in place. Let's wrap this up.